Hi and welcome to today's video where we will be discussing Cisco SD-WAN. <coughs> I'm currently studying for Cisco CCNP design and SD-WAN is a, one of the topics covered in the blueprint. I will cover in this video SD-WAN overview, its management plane, control plane, data plane and orchestration. And I will also touch on the analytics. So let's begin. <coughs> SD-WAN or Software Defined Wide Area Networking is a technology that enables organizations to securely connect their branches, data centers and clouds with intelligent routing and application awareness. Cisco SD-WAN provides a range of benefits to business including increased network agility and a lower operation cost. It also simplifies the management of the network by providing a centralized management interface that allows IT teams to configure and monitor the network from a single location. With Cisco SD-WAN, business can prioritize critical application and ensure they have the necessary bandwidth and performance to meet their needs. This means that business critical application like video conferencing and customer facing application are given the highest priority, ensuring that they perform at their best. In addition, to these benefits, Cisco SD-WAN also provides a high level of security. It encrypts traffic between branches and data centers and clouds to prevent unauthorized access. Overall, Cisco SD-WAN is an essential technology for any business that wants to improve the performance, security and the manageability of their network. So if you are looking for a way to simplify your network management and improve your business performance, Cisco SD-WAN, is definitely worth considering. Management Plane vManage is responsible for the management plane for SD-WAN. It is a single pane of glass. It is also known as NMS or Network Management System. It provides day 0, 1 and 2 operation. This means from onboarding through configuration to operation. All is managed via vManage, apart from the manual configuration of vBON on vanage devices before onboarding. All other functionality could be done from vManage. It is GUI based, but can be accessed and automated via REST API. vManage provides all functionality that are required to run SD-WAN fabric, configuration, management, troubleshooting, and monitoring. vManage should be run in resilient mode. It is recommended to always have an odd number of vManage devices. This is to minimize the impact of split brain scenario. vManage also support multi-tenancy if that is required. Cisco vSmart controllers are centralized control plane devices. They are responsible for control plane policies and centralized data policies. Cisco vSmart is responsible for fabric discovery and VPN topologies. vSmarts are highly scalable with supports for over 5,000 connections and up to 20 vSmarts in a single SD-WAN fabric. It is the brain of the SD-WAN fabric and it uses overlay management protocol OMP to communicate between vSmarts and WAN edge devices. OMP is compared to the routing protocol, but OMP del delivers much more, not only routing information, but also key management IPsec, configuration updates and other information. Control plane policies and centralized data plane policies are built on vManage and redistributed to vSmart via NetConf protocol. vSmart then calculate and redistribute policies to van edge devices via OMP protocol. vSmarts are also responsible for encryption of SD-WAN fabric. Encryption key redistribution is the responsibility of vSmart. When edge devices calculate its keys for each transport and then forward the keys to vSmart and vSmart then redistribute this to the other when edge devices. In case of an outage of SD-WAN vSmart, SD-WAN fabric will still function until the next weekend. The default is 12 hours, but this can be customized. Orchestration. Part of the orchestration plane is a vBond. The VBON is responsible for onboarding and connecting VanEdge devices with the vSmart and vManage. 
If there are more than one, VBON will redistribute the list of controllers to each WAN edge device. It orchestrates connectivity inside SD WAN fabric. It is the first point of authentication for a new WAN edge device. It also facilitates the NAT traversal. If any of the devices sits behind NAT, it will help with the learning pre and post NAT IP addresses. VBON should be configured with a public IP address or it should use one to one NAT. When the WAN edge device is booted up, it should know about the VBON either from ZTP, PNP, manual configuration or bootstrap configuration. It will then try to establish connection over each transport to connect to VBON. Once the VBON connection is established and connection to VSmart and VManage is provided by VBON, the connection to VBON is terminated. Connection to VBON are not permanent. V Analytics. For V Analytics, license is required. It is not part of the SD WAN fabric by default. It should be used for planning and predictive analysis of SD WAN networks. It should help with the circuit capacity planning and also with planning for introduction of a new application for or a new service onto a SD WAN fabric. For a live data collection and a current state of the network, SD WAN vManage is sufficient. V Analytics uses AI to help business right size the fabric based on the historical data for potential adjustment of the network. Data plane. Data plane is an SD WAN overlay. It is a data connectivity between managed devices during SD WAN discussions. You will hear two names, CH and VH. CH are Cisco-based managed devices like a Cisco ISR 4K or Cisco ASR 1K, and VH are Viptela based devices. These days Cisco only sells CH devices, but you could still hear the VH terminology. Data plane is a logical overlay and can deliver many topologies from full mesh, partial mesh to hub and spoke and other custom options. Also, each VPN on SD WAN fabric could have a different topology. VPN in SD WAN is a synonym, synonym for VRF. It is logical data separation. Data plane traffic can be encrypted, and this is the most common approach, or it can be encapsulated in GRE. BFD, or bidirectional forwarding detection, is running inside each VPN to measure packet loss, jitter, and delay. BFD is used in echo mode to reduce CPU usage of WAN devices.